I think about family. <laughs> I think about where I came from to begin with. I think about where I'm going to go, and I think about the people in the United States uh, who helped me be who I am. I was born in Eritrea. There was a big war for independence that lasted for 31 years. I left Eritrea when I was 10 years old and then came to the United States and on October 21st, 1987, uh, 25 years ago. Didn't speak English. Uh, the only clothes that we had were on our back. We didn't have money. And that's what my parents told us. Uh, the key to life is education. We didn't have it. Your cousins didn't have it. Uh, your uncles didn't have it, so don't waste it. And we took that hard, and we like anything and everything we gave it was 110 percent. Running didn't mean anything. I mean, yeah, you run because the soldiers are coming to get you, or you hide and things like that. First time I ever ran, or somebody noticed, was in seventh grade PE teacher. I just PE teacher said, if you run hard, I'll give you A or B. If you don't, I'm going to get DRF. Well, I took off. Welcome to my office. I train hard. I put anywhere from 100 to 130 miles a week. My rule is I have to get in there to keep the information down and uh, you make you recover faster. I am in Mammoth because I fell in love with it in 1995 and I said if I could ever afford it and I wanted to be in Mammoth to train. The trails that you run here are endless. And the other reason was if I'm going to be the best in the world, most of them were doing altitude training and Mammoth with the perfect elevation. Not, not a lot of stuff going on here, so I'm not distracted. The biggest decision I have to make after college was whether to run for Eritrea or U.S., but bear in mind I've been in the United States in 1987 and some of my family members said, yeah, I'll go for the U.S. and others who really want me to hold on to my roots, but at the same token, I have to make a decision that is comfortable for me. Who wants Apple? Going back to the 2012 Olympics, yes, it's almost a second chance. Uh, whatever happens there is more for my family because last time I was at the Olympics eight years ago, I wasn't married. I didn't have girls, so I now have three girls. And uh, my parents and relatives and brothers and sisters are all going to go there and to London to watch me run as my last, my last Olympics. There's so many things that goes in your head with the two hours that we do and, uh, you know, but it's good to reflect back and, uh, and believe in yourself and that you can still do it. I'm 37 years old. Sometimes when I look at myself, where I have started, where I came from, I have to pinch myself. 